Hello, welcome to the channel or welcome back if you are a regular visitor. I thank you if you are. Um, this week I'm going to do a quick one about accessories. I've done lots of what's new in my wardrobe and I was actually just sitting in the garden. It's been a beautiful day and I thought I still haven't done a what's new accessories. What what accessories am I going to be using for summer? So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and let's crack on and get into what's new. Right, now, a little bit of a cheat. These actually aren't new. These are from last summer, but they are available again this year from New Look. Now, um, if you watch any of the big vloggers that are out there. They swear by the Castagna espadrilles. I think they're mighty pricey at 90 to 150 pounds. These from New Look I think are no more than 25 pounds. They could be 20, I think they might even be 20 pounds. I've got a blue pair and I've got a pink pair and I'm just going to add in a picture of the two new colours that I'm thinking about getting but they wore so well for £20 instead of £150 new looks got my vote uh, next, I've, <laughs> next I've got a pair of next wedge tan sandals not quite espadrilles this is the sort of thing I go for every summer I just love a wedge and I love the the fabrics the um is it hessian I just think this type of sandal adds texture to an outfit I wear quite neutral plain clothes and I just think this sort of thing pairs up so well very pleased with these from next they're very comfortable this is elasticated so they're not at all tight, just plain tan suede at the front. Just a very nice, easy pair of sandals that will go with anything. Right, next I've got these um, strappy heels from H&M. I think they were cheap as chips. I didn't have any black sandals in my shoe drove behind. And I wanted to have a little play this year with maybe a little bit of black in the summer. I very rarely ever wear black, but I'm thinking black shorts maybe, black knee length type dress maybe. And I just really fancied a pair of black sandals because I just don't have a pair. They're strappy, very comfortable and affordable. So I thought they would uh, make a nice little addition into the wardrobe. I'm, I'm really happy with these. There's a new H&M haul coming up by the way. I think it will be out next week. I know you all enjoy those so I hope you'll stop by for that. And I might have ordered something that will go perfectly with these. You can't be a pair of flat shoes for a good lot of walking and if you're a regular here you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the Vionic shoes and they've got a special orthotic heel so it, it raises right up into the arch of your foot and they are just so comfortable if I go into London for a day it's normally the Vionics that I put on I can walk miles in these shoes and I just loved the colour, thought these were a little bit different. I think there's a really nice sage green as well. And I think these are going to look good with shorts or with the cigarette type trousers that I wear a lot. Or jeans. White jeans, very nice. Right, next I've got um, a nice pair of sandals from Mashula Shoes. These are tan leather. I wear so much tan in the summer. It's literally my favourite colour. It goes with everything, doesn't it? Hence why I've put on an easy, simple denim dress to style all this stuff today. 
easy peasy but tan and denim they're just the best aren't they or tan it go it they tan will go with all all your little feminine ditzy dresses summery dresses and i think these are really nice they've got a really don't know if you can see but they're really deeply padded and they're not high at all you've got this platform here so although you've got that little bit of elevation your foot is really still quite flat wearing these so if, if you if you like to wear flats over heels but you want a little bit of elevation this is what you need and finally on the last pair of uh, sandals for this season are these granddad type sandals from Hotter. Now the, these are such a big trend aren't they at the moment this granddad type looking shoe and I didn't have anything navy. I know they do these in lots of different colours but I just fancied this navy. I think they look smart and on trend, comfortable. Hotter are famous for being comfortable aren't they? They're all velcro on the strap and nice and wide fitting as well so I think I haven't worn them out yet even I think they're going to be very comfortable and I just think they look a bit more on trend right moving on to bags now this is an oldie I think this is in its second year but boy do I use this bag a lot a good old basket bag will go with anything and you can carry so much in these bags. So I would totally recommend a basket bag. Right, next up, I fell in love with this. Pink, it's pink. I love pink in summer. It even goes with blue. So I spotted this in collaboration with the Jewelry Channel. I've actually got some accessories from them as well. And I just thought this was a lovely, smart bag. You've got the um, magnetic popper. A zip at the back there. It's all leather, excellent quality. And I think it was only about 30 pounds, this bag. Now I like a top handle, let's do that up. I like a top handle bag, but you've also got a strap in here as well to wear it as crossbody. Look, I've not even taken it out of the wrapper because I know I'm not gonna use that crossbody. I prefer a top handle. And then inside, you can see I haven't even taken the wrapping out yet. But there's three compartments in there, so it's a lovely roomy bag. And I, I was just amazed at the quality when it came in the post. I got um, a few items and I, I just couldn't believe how cheap and affordable it all was. You've even got the gold poppers down there to put it on the floor. But very, very nice. Very impressed with that another raffia bag this time it's from next you've got a cute little do up toggle on there it's very natural looking it looks lovely with white i think i've already photographed this with white you've got a long crossbody or you could wear it as a clutch which is how i prefer it but yeah nice little bag very simple quite roomy going to go with everything again because of the natural material. Great with jeans, a dress, shorts, nice little holiday bag I think. And I've got this cute little crochet bag from Cotton Traders. Can you see the pattern on there? I just thought this was a really sweet little bag. I'd most probably use this more as a clutch than a crossbody that it can be as well. You've got a little hanging tassel on the side there as well. I just thought it was really cute. Now belts are something I need to work on this year. I'm thinking about collecting a couple of new belts. I've got my reversible belt from Belkin which I wear literally every day. 
actually let's just go and get that yes here it is the uh, reversible belt from Balkian I've been wearing this for two years solid it's just starting to go home now and uh, I'm gonna get another one I think because I have absolutely loved this belt it's a brilliant width and then you pull the buckle twist and then you've got the black belt and funnily enough I don't use the black hardly at all it's always the tan I just think the tan is such a lovely color it's not orangey it's beigey it just works with everything and I've loved it so I definitely recommend one of these the leather is amazing as well so moving on to my first edition belt the first belt to my wardrobe this year and I saw this in H&M and picked it up I think it was £10 and again it's gold and natural rope and then you've got gold stoppers on the bottom there it took me a little while to work out how to wear it but I also like this way as well so you've got the natural with just the hint of gold so it's not too over the top it's more natural and it just really caught my eye and I, I like it I wasn't going to keep it to start with but when I would worked out how to tie it and what it goes with I actually think it's a nice little addition this year prescription sunglasses I have found them so useful do you ever go and sit in the garden or sit out somewhere and you need glasses but the sun is glaring so I've got some new prescription sunglasses this year from two different brands dirt cheap these are from good lookers and they're very oversized but I just really liked them. Cheap as chips as far as I'm aware. I think these are 1.5 and uh, they're doing the job. I like to sit in the garden in the mornings and read a magazine and uh, these have been perfect. Then I've got another pair from Peepers and I really like these as well. These are more brownie tortoise shell shade same again these are 1.5 but a squarer look and you can get these in clear glass as well both of these glasses are actually let me know which ones you like most i'd like to hear when i put these on he said oh my god you look like the fly but I just really liked them right now watches do you still wear a watch I do not feel dressed without a watch I don't know why it just never feels right to me and I've got this one from the jewelry channel again as I said I'm in partnership with them at the moment and I got this Fiorelli one and it's taupe strap and I just thought I don't know if I can focus that let's put it in front of the box it's got a nice pearly type face and I think this watch is literally £16 it's a bargain £16 it works perfectly as well it's keeping good time I've had it on a few times now and I think this would make a brilliant gift as well. I think watches are so cheap now because not a lot of people wear them because of phones. But I love to have a watch. I don't want to have to keep picking my phone up so that I can see what the time is. I can just go like that. Anyway, so really happy with that. And next. Uh, new addition to my Nord Green collection. Now I'm always banging on about my favourite watch brand, Nord Green, and I've got the Five Link Silver Strap. This strap, this watch, 
This watch has normally got a white strap on it because it's silver. I do tend to wear uh, more silver in the summer and I, I see this strap, they're so easy to change. I did have to go and get a couple of links took out at the jewellers. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with it. And then with this gold one that I've got on, I will swap that for tan leather straps or I've got I've got pink, I've got white and they're just so easy to change. I think it's brilliant. You just match the watch up to what you're wearing and I just feel more dressed. But I really liked this new silver look. And then finally, I got two pearl bracelets. So this is the only new jewellery to my collection at the moment. I don't wear a lot of jewellery to be fair. I do love pearls. And these were on the jewellery channel again. Um, gold plated. And... <laughs> The brand actually asked me if I really wanted to, but I think they look lovely paired together. And I was really pleased with them. Dirt cheap again. And yeah, the, it's definitely a website worth looking at, especially for gifts. They have some really good stuff. And so that's it. That's it for new and accessories. That was pretty quick. So let me know what your favourite is. I'd like to hear. Do you use the straw bags in the summer? Are you a fan? I'd like to know. Um, have you got your eye on anything special this year to add to your wardrobe? I keep looking at these designer accessories and thinking, I love it, should I buy it? Do I really want to fork out all that money? I'm so tempted. There's some nice belts around at the moment that I would really love. Um, but I can never seem to part with that money, so most of my accessories are high street. Easy, cheap and cheerful and just elevate your outfit a little bit and swap it about each year, so it's easy. But anyway, if you liked the film, please give it a thumbs up. I really need people to thumbs up and to hit the notifications. If you subscribe today, please hit the notification bell. I'd love it if you joined me again and I'll see you soon.